it's a great time to like celebrate and reflect and also learn. Blackness is kind of a very broad term. There's so many little intricate parts of it that can't all be explained within one month. So I sort of feel like every single year that comes by is always, you know, something new to learn and something new to celebrate. I'm a mixed child. My mom is born in Canada, but her parents are from Scotland and her mom is from Czechoslovakia. And then my dad was born in Barbados and came to Canada when he was nine years old. Number one is that black history is everybody's history. Like everyone should know about black history. Um, my family's from Grenada. I came here in 1972. And I'm from Jamaica and Grenada. That's my place here. For me, it means it's a time of reflection, just remembering who came before us. My name is Marcello Wainwright. I play for the Toronto Arrows, Canada's first uh, professional rugby team. I was born here, but I spent the first few years of my life in Bermuda. It's funny when I when I go back, like it's kind of weird that everyone looks like me. I'm not used to it. It's yeah. Something I definitely know. And my mom's from Sierra Leone, my dad's from Sierra Leone, from Freetown. So it's a coastal town, lots of fishing. My older sister, who introduced me to rugby, she was born in Sierra Leone. They left there during the Civil War. I really want to go back, because, you know, sort of where I was supposed to be, kind of. But like, there's a lot to learn all the time, and it can never really be explained in just a month. Because I remember in school, it's always just like, oh, Black History Month, uh, segregation, slavery, and then all that is over. Here we are. Celebrate this, celebrate that. The, the month is kind of strange because I feel like it kind of limits it to the month. It shouldn't just be this one month. It should be something that's constantly going on and like educating people. It's, it's kind of hard not to draw from, from movies because I guess the most impactful way that things are represented sometimes. One that comes to mind is Jackie Robinson, 42. If breaking into into baseball at that time where there was a whole separate league and then abuse that he endured, he took it on on his shoulders to to just, I guess create the path for others to do it. So Muhammad Ali is another role model, and both as a boxer, as a heavyweight champion of the world, and then I mean he, he gave up this would would have been his prime years to just do what he believed in, which is not not go to war, not sacrifice his life for a country that. I think in his words wouldn't do the same for him or have treated his people so poorly. Spending $30 million a day in Asia, black and white boys are dying unjustly for nothing just to free somebody else. Yeah, I remember when I started playing, like some black players stood out to me for sure. Canadian specifically, I think Nanny Doll. I think he captained the Sevens team for a bit. Justice Sears Deer, so I played with and against him as well. It, it doesn't stand out as much to me, right? Like. It just feels like we're all a group, we're all the same, but when I was younger, it was uh, paid more attention to. But I would say like on the Canadian circuit, I still think there needs to be some work. I think it's slowly starting to get some um, mixed kids in there, but like I think that it took a little too long. My mom didn't really know what rugby was, because usually in Sierra Leone, everyone's playing soccer, everyone's playing football. Rugby compared to track and field or basketball, you don't see a lot of black people or black teenagers specifically females. I remember, you know, Steve looking in the audience when I would play and my dad, you could spot him out because he was the only black man there. When you get there and you look around, it's kind of like you're a little fish in a big ocean. I am not well represented. Rugby, um, it's a big thing to braid your hair and I was never the best braider and when they, my friends on the team would try to braid my hair, you know, they're like, oh, this is so hard. Like, how do you brush your hair? So like having coaches and like volunteers that are around that are of different ethnicities might make kids feel more comfortable and wanting to be involved. I'm just so grateful that I went to Humber. Just being in the environment is like no other team that I see. Having Dale Eshoo as our head coach, and he just has taught us all to be strong black women. Like he tells us that all the time. He will give any opportunity for us to grow and develop as black women. and. I am just so grateful to have gone there. Anywhere I can spread it, like I can, I can get other people to uh, fall in love with the sport. I, that makes me happy. And then particularly in those places where I can relate to. I just hope that, you know, I inspire someone to play rugby and then they inspire someone else to play rugby. This should be an inclusive sport, just like anything else, not because we're playing basketball or running track. We should be able to um, be on that rugby field and we have every right to be there. One time I was going to practice and I saw this little boy and his mom. It was like 
you know, like 11 or 12, and I was just like, this is like something new. I've never seen someone so young that looks like me enter the floor rugby. I hope he has a good time. I hope he loves this sport, because I do, you know? Drop it in my face.